Picking up the plants. We're picking up the plants. Let's pick up some more. And welcome to a demonstration, or an explanation I should say, on how I did my farming demo. Uh, I'm going to show you how I did the different scripts. So first of all, um, the global script, I've added in some extra pieces. You're going to need all of that lot added into your globals. Those are from our Shadows original scripts, and these are all the ones I've added in. Um, you don't really need upgrade skill. It's there uh, and it can be used, but what for at the moment I don't know. But I was thinking, yeah, you can have an upgrade skill so that you'll learn a new, you know, um, whatever, move, that sort of thing. Obviously, it's not possible at the moment. There's no way of doing that. Um, but, you know, that's the idea. Um, so, yeah, that's in there. Obviously, I'll, I'll put, put all this information up for you to... Uh, to grab anyway. So the first script is the XP script. Always, if you make a new script, always make sure that the, the script name, that's Red Root XP there, is the same here, Red Root XP underscore main. So the name of it has got to be all the way up to the underscore, exactly the same. And then you always put this at the end. Um, that's just to explain that bit. Um, standard distance code, which is in most of the scripts, any of the scripts you look at will have this in. It just works out the distance between you and the object you're clicking on. Um, so this then checks whether that distance is less than 80. And if it is, it'll run all this code here. Um, basically here it's saying if character level is less than level max, then it'll run this code, which basically prints all this lot up here. Um, most of it, you can see it's broken up. Um, you've got sort of speech marks around here, that's a string. So it just prints directly what's there. And you've got these two dots and then character XP and two dots. That is to put a variable in. So that will actually put what the details, the contents of that variable, it will print down after each pickup so you can get all your stats in there. And that's how that works. Uh, it works all the way through. You can see I broke up all, all the bits with different things. And you can see it's not just one variable you can use. Level XP minus character XP um, is quite valid as well. Anything like that will work. So you can sort of do little formulas. Not much of a formula, but it works it out. Um, yeah, and that's that's explained that. That's easy enough. Probably gone into way too much detail. Um, so yeah, if you press the E key, and as far as I'm aware, that's the only one I've tried changing that, but there's, there's no other one's been programmed to work. So as far as I know, you can only press E. Be nice to have some other commands, but they will come. And um, so, if you press it, if it equals what, if it's true, basically, then it'll run this code inside here. And if character level is less than level max, and obviously these, these are all these things here that I've set. So level max is ten. Um, character level is going to be less than ten at the start. And obviously, once you get to level ten, then it, it won't run this code, and you can't level up anymore. That's the idea. Um, so then after that it runs this bit and that checks if it's greater than 5 the level again uh, it runs this code and it gives you more XP and it gives you some red roots which is a random and a random again um, you could make it set, you could make it so when you get an item it gives you one item I thought well make it semi random and that's sort of a bit better better than just getting bored if you've got to get loads and loads of things um, yeah and that does the same just gives you a bit of a random on there how many red roots you're gonna get obviously it's adding this random to character XP and red roots so that'll make that equal the right amount because they all start at zero uh, and then it plays whatever sound you've got in player sound zero and then destroys the object uh, then if that isn't true so if you it isn't greater than level 5 it prints not high enough level and that ends it 
and then here the else here is for this first if if it's less than level max then it prompts level max reached so obviously you've reached your level max as soon as it's greater than level max so yeah uh, that's that first script Cripes, I've gone by more detail I think hopefully it's not too confusing I'll have to listen to myself back and think oh dear I'll redo this more than likely but there we go um, and right next one a storage so that's when you pick it up and this is when it stores it so again all the same stuff I've increased the distance a little bit just to make it easy to get to and it's a bigger object so you sort of play around with that as you want um, it's doing the same here if it's less than 120 it prompts that straight away and if you press E um, it's gonna check if red roots is greater than zero then it will run this code and it'll add red root store to red root red roots um, and that will tell you know obviously give you how many you've stored in total and then it resets red roots to zero to say that you've got rid of them and then it plays the sound again simple as pie that one now the reason why I put if red boots is greater than zero here um, is because if you don't put that there then you can press E and it'll constantly keep playing although these stats will have been reset because that's zeroed it'll keep playing the sound so you can keep making strange sound effects or you can hold the button down it'll repeat you know that sort of sound um, that wasn't a very good impression of it you know what I mean, a key repeating sound. So that basically stops the key repeat. That's simple as that. Um, and oh, red root cell, pretty much the same, exactly the same, except it's just a different message here. And it changes your current cash. So you can get some cash for selling it. Again, the greater than zero stops it repeating. Um, yeah, and that's it. So. Hopefully that'll help you. I'll put all these scripts up. That'll work. Um, but obviously, hopefully that will give you a bit of understanding so you can tweak them around to your liking. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. I'm just trying to think if there's anything I've really missed here. I mean, obviously I went through this. You can see it's a random. So it's 120 to 180. Um, the other plants that are lower than that, like the potatoes, give you less of a range. You can see here it says between 10 and 50. Obviously, that isn't what I'm using anymore. I've changed that. That was from Shadow IU Shadow Script. I've just not deleted the uh, the rem out. Um, but I played around with that. I increase it as the plants get higher, and this is the highest level plant I did, so it's quite a high one. I think I've started the other stuff. It's you know half that or less. Um, yeah. And until next time, I'll catch you later.